All right. I think I got everybody. All right. I have got Instagram and Facebook with me tonight. Hello. Hello. How is everybody doing? Happy Monday. It's Monday. What's your Monday motivation? So what do you think we're going to talk about today? <laughs> hey guys, happy Christmas in July. I'll give you a little bit of information about a fun giveaway that me and my team are going to do. Um, and uh, we're going to do something special because we're going to do one of my favorite Christmas cookies in honor of Christmas in July. And um, this recipe is going to be, um, it is packed with value, value, value. So stick around and learn something with me. As you are jumping on, please say hello. My name is Terry. I'm coming to you live from sunny, sunny California. Absolutely gorgeous days we have here. This whole week has been wonderful. It's been only like in the high 80s. So um, we are pushing, by the end of the week, we are pushing back into the hundreds. So Christmas in July sounds really good for me. So the first thing that I would love for you to do is drop a wave, drop an emoji, drop hello down there in the comments. Let me know that you are here with me. Um, I do so much better when I know that I actually am talking to somebody and it's not just me and the camera um, and Ed, my husband. <laughs> So let me know that you are on with me. Say hello. Let me say hello back to you and give you a shout out. So um, drop a wave, drop a favorite emoji, maybe a Christmas emoji. That would probably be pretty appropriate. And one of the first things that I would like to know is what is your favorite Christmas cookie? So when December rolls around, what is your favorite Christmas cookie? We're going to make one of my favorite Christmas cookies, but we're going to turn it into a keto version. So pretty darn cool. All right. Hang in there with me. Let me get you all of this information. In the meantime, let me know if you're catching me live. Instagram, you have a little pink box, red box up here. Facebook, you guys have one right here. If you see the word live, it means you are live with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I always appreciate you guys who just kind of like stop dead in your tracks and jump on with me. Um, this is usually what time I jump on with a keto kitchen. It's usually around 5.30 Pacific time, which is my time. Try to get on early enough for my East Coast people. And I've got followers all over the world. So, um, you know, New Zealand and Australia, you guys, hello, hello, when you catch it on the replay. So let me know if you're catching me live, but also let me know if you're catching me on the replay. If you're rolling back around, put replay and always let me know where you're watching from and what time it is that you actually are catching me. So um, the other thing is a share, 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 share. Sharing means that you care. Sharing makes you beautiful. And it just gives me the opportunity to reach out to some other people, your people, whoever you share me out to or you're connected to. Um, maybe they would love to be uh, learn something, a quick and easy keto recipe or learn something about I don't know, some of the tips that I give of grocery hauls, menu plans, um, food lists, what is keto, what's not keto, what's healthy fats mean, all of that stuff. I give you all of that um, and just love supporting this lifestyle. So share me out, put share down there in the comments if you do share me, because every month I do a share drawing, which I'm almost ready to do June's. So I had to get everybody on the spin wheel. Um, and uh, I send out a couple prizes just to say thanks for sharing. All right, we are going to do keto snowball cookies. You might know these as different names. Um, they are the little white balls with nuts inside of them, and they're done in powdered sugar. So if you call them something different than a snowball cookie, Put whatever the name is that you call them, because I've known them as a couple different things growing up and moving into different areas and talking to different people. This cookie's got lots of different names, so totally cool. Hi, Shirley. Thanks for jumping on. Hi, Marie. Thanks for jumping on. Cheryl, thanks for jumping on. Hi, Maria. Thanks for jumping on. I see all you guys on. Tommy, Susie, Sue, sorry. I see all of you guys are on, but I'm not seeing any comments. Facebook is being so weird, guys. Uh, help me out here because like there are no comments. So if any of you have said hi, dropped emojis, said that you were live, any of that, nothing. Pat, hi, all I see is that you're jumping on. Instagram, hi, you guys. Do you see them, Ed? See, Ed sees them. Ed's watching my account, like watching me live, like you guys are watching me on his phone, and he sees the comments. I don't see any of them. It 
it's sad. All right, guys. I'm also getting slow connection is what it's telling me. Am I losing? Are you losing me? No, you're back. Okay. Oh, now I'm back. All right. All right. Let's move on to this. Let's just try to get through this. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do keto, keto snowball cookies and, um, I'm going to give you lots of value. I'm going to teach you lots of things. One of the first things that we're going to do, we're going to do, um, this is going to be butter, but it can also be um, ghee. If you don't know what ghee is, put ghee in the comments, G-H-E-E. -E. Um, it's clarified butter, and I will give you the recipe, tag you in the recipe um, as to how to make it from scratch. It's super, super easy, like insanely easy and if you make it you can make a big batch of it and save a ton of money than buying it in the jars at the grocery store g-h-e-e -E. so it's clarified butter um and it's a lot easier to cook with because it actually has a higher cook point so it doesn't burn as quickly as butter all right so you can use butter in here you can use ghee you could also use um a refined coconut oil okay here's your next lesson coconut oil Refined or unrefined? Unrefined is going to be solid, and then when it hits a certain temperature in your house, it's going to turn into liquid. You're gonna smell the coconut, it's gonna give whatever you put in it a coconut taste. If you do not like coconut, use the refined version of it. Um, it will stay solid longer. It will, it, it is, the unrefined is better for you because it's not over-processed. The refined is processed more, but um, it does not have, put a heavy coconut taste onto your food. Okay, so you could use that. You could also use, um, what is the other one that they tell? Uh, and when, we, when it comes to sweeteners, you can use a coconut sugar if you are not following keto. That would be more of a paleo choice. Um, it would be an alternative to sugar, but Coconut sugar, we're not talking about coconut oil, we're talking about coconut sugar, will spike your insulin, so it is not keto friendly, all right? So what we're gonna start in the bowl here is some butter softened, and I'm gonna add some sweetener. Um, you can use any of the powdered sweeteners. You don't wanna use a granulated sweetener in here because um, it's not gonna dissolve. The Keto friendly sweeteners, so like for instance, I use Swerve. And the reason why I like Swerve is I like the taste of it. This is keto friendly, it does not spike your insulin. It comes in the confectioner's version, so the powdered version, it comes in granular, it comes in brown sugar, so it covers any need that you would have. And it measures the same as regular sugar. So you have to be careful if you're using monk fruit, if you're using stevia, some of those stevia you might only use, use in a drop formula rather than um, in a regular uh, powdered formula or a granulated formula. Monk fruit, the same thing. They are much sweeter. They're much more concentrated in their taste. So you usually have to alter your um, your recipe a little bit and use a little bit less. So I use Swerve whenever I can. All right, so we're going to do that. Use the powdered version versus the granular version if you can. All right. Um, and I think we're going to... Yep, we're just we're gonna mix this together. So hang in there with me for a second. All right, all you're looking for is kind of light, light and fluffy. It basically looks like whipped butter. Okay, now we're going to add um, some vanilla. As you guys are jumping on, oh, there's some comments. Yay, yay, yay. Now they're coming across. Thank you, guys. All right. I, I see a few of them. Woo-hoo. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Billy. Hi, Marie. All right. We're going to add some vanilla. Instagram, how are you guys doing over here? I know a few of you that are on there. Some of you are new. All right. Uh, vanilla. <laughs> And now we're going to add our almond flour. Okay, let's talk about flours. When you are doing keto recipes, you're going to exchange out your regular grain flour. So you're not going to use white flour. You're going to use one of the nut flours. Generally speaking, it's usually almond flour or coconut flour. 
These two flours are not interchangeable in a recipe. So you can't just see a recipe and go, oh, I don't have almond flour, I'll just use coconut flour. They're very different. Almond flour is super absorbent. So um, it's gonna make things fluffy. It's gonna make things crumbly. Like if you use them to make, when you use it to make cupcakes or muffins, cookies, anything like that, it's gonna be a little bit more of a crumbly um, consistency. When you are using coconut flour, coconut flour is not absorbent at all. It's almost like water repellent when you see it. And that's gonna make things more dense, a little bit more heavy. So I happen to like a lot of the recipes that do both, that kind of use a combination of both. This one is gonna use almond flour. Anytime that you're using almond flour in baking, try to get a, like a super fine one. This is a brand that we have in all of our grocery stores. I also order some of it. Um, there's a company called Nuts that I love. Um, I love all of their, their nut flours. Um, I get it from them too. If you have a regular almond flour that is not super fine, you can grab a strainer and you're just gonna pour it in there and you're gonna kind of mush it with the back of a spoon and that will make it even more fine than what it is. You could put it in a uh, food processor, but um, you wanna use fine, the fine grained almond flour whenever you're doing baking. So if I've taught you anything, if you didn't know any of that, if I provided any value, put value down there in the comments. That gives me the yes, I am on track. Yes, I am bringing you value because that's the whole purpose of this. Um, and yes, I am on track as far as um, what you guys want to learn. Hello, Debbie. How are you? All right. Uh, we've got our almond flour in here. All right. We're going to mix this up. And basically what we want for this to do is to be able to make a ball. So that's kind of the consistency of the dough. All right. While I do this, um, let's just talk about Christmas in July. So, uh, my team of keto coaches, um, we are a team of people who reach out and try to introduce keto to people who have, don't know what it is, teach you the benefits of spending some consistent time in ketosis because they're amazing, better energy, focus, mental clarity, better appetite suppression, so that helps with portion control, calorie restriction, fat loss. Um, it helps uh, with uh, muscle preservation, muscle development, better gut health, better mood, better sleep. There are so many, so many, so many benefits to spending some consistent time in ketosis, and that's what we want to introduce to people and show you how to do it. One of the ways of how to do it is, is teaching you quick and simple, easy, keto-friendly recipes like this. So as our appreciation for all of you guys, everybody who follows us, friends us, shares us out, we could not do this job without you. And as our appreciation to you, we do this once a year. So we do a Christmas in July giveaway, and um, you we spend an entire week giving out gifts, giving out presents, giving out, doing a giveaway every day for a week. And then at the very end is the grand prize. We've got grand prize, uh, grand prizes that include like an air fryer. Uh, I think we have those electric salt and pepper shakers. I don't know if you've seen those. Um, I think we have uh, earbuds, like the um, the Apple earbuds. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what they're called. We're trying to get a, an Apple Watch. I think that might be going, or whatever is an Android, whatever the Android watch is. Um, so we've got tons of gifts. It, you, it does not cost you anything to be in it. You do not have to purchase anything. There's no obligation. It's just pure fun. It's kind of a little bit of a trivia game. We're going to drop a trivia question. You're going to answer it. That puts you on a spin wheel. And every day we're going to um, pick somebody and give out prizes. And then at the end, we put everybody who played all week long. You're in there for a whole week's worth of, of names and um, pick the grand prizes. So it's so, so, so fun. If you want to be part of our Christmas in July, put Christmas down there in the comments. I'll get the information to you and get you connected. We start on the 19th is, is when we start. So you want to be in there ready to start the first day because every day that you vote, 
on um, the little trivia question, you get in in the the end one for the grand prizes. All right. So thank you guys. Hi, Linda. Thanks for jumping on. Hi, Beverly. Thank you guys all for jumping on. So Christmas down there if you want to be part of Christmas in July. All right. Now, this is what you're going to do with the rest of this. If you can take this and easily turn it into a little ball, it is done. If it is too sticky, if it's too uh, like kind of crumbly, still wants to fall apart, you're going to add a little bit of um, unsweetened almond milk. This is one of the brands that is at our grocery store that I like. Unsweetened almond milk, like a tablespoon. That's all you're going to put in it. Um, just to make it a wet enough so that you can create a ball. All right. I like this. This is in good shape. I'm going to add the nuts. I'm going to add walnuts. You can add uh, pecans. You can do a combination. It is totally up to you what you want to do. Now, I'm going to mix all this up. If you make it with the recipe, I will post the recipe as soon as I'm done. If you make it with the recipe that I post, and you make these little balls into tablespoon, 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 teaspoon. Hang on. I'm going to say melon balls. I'm going to use a melon ball scooper. If you use it into this size ball, these turn out to only being one net gram per cookie. So pretty awesome. All right, so you're going to take your sheet you're going to measure out your cookie according to your melon ball scooper make it turn it into a little ball and put it on your pan you're going to fill your pan you're going to put, cook it in the oven you're going to bake them 12 to 14 minutes they're going to come out you're going to put them on you're going to let them cool for about five or ten minutes just long enough so they're you can handle them, but they're still warm. You're going to roll them in a little bowl with this sugar again. This is the powdered sugar. You can let them cool a little bit longer, and if you want, you can roll them again. Remember, this sugar does not spike your insulin, so you can use as much of it as you want to fulfill that sweet tooth that you have. All right, and then that's it. They are done. So super simple. Remember, tell me down in there in the comments, if you don't call these snowballs, what is it that you call them? Because they've got lots of different names. It's kind of fun finding out from where people live um, what they call them. Make sure you put Christmas down there if you want to get into our giveaway. I'd love to see every one of you guys on there because I just uh, so much appreciate and would really love to give back to all of you who give to me all the time. And let me know if you caught me live or if you caught me on the replay. If you caught me on the replay, let me know what time you caught me. And if we are not friends yet, send me a friend request. Let's get connected. I do probably three or four of these keto kitchens every day or every week. Um, but I also, I post a lot of um, cheat sheets. I help you with menu plans if that's what you need. I help you figure out what foods are keto, what are not, what supplements you can use to make keto easier to getting into ketosis, how to keep you out of the keto flu, how much water should you drink, what type of electrolyte should you add? All of that. So however you want to do your keto-friendly journey, um, I would love to be part of that. I'd love to support you. I'd love to be, ha be um, help you get that started. So put keto down there in the comments if you would just like to know a little bit more. Send me a friend request if we're not friends already. I cannot chat with you in Messenger unless you send me a friend request first. My account is public. You guys could talk to me until all the time. Um, I cannot talk to most of you because most of you have private accounts, which is how it should be. Um, so I can't get, I, I can't chat with you other than right here. So um, I hope you guys got some value out of that. Put value in the comments if I taught you anything, if, um, if, I, if I provided any value for you, and I will see you on our next Keto Kitchen.